today's video, I will be showing you how to make the top five best builds on NBA 2K23 current gen and next gen. So whether you just got 2K23 as a gift, bought it for yourself, or you're new to 2K, or simply just want to make a new build, this is the video for you. No matter what playstyle you have or what position you're looking to make, this video can help you. I will be showing you how to make each build both on next gen and current gen while also giving you options and different versions of each build while also helping you with badges and takeover decisions. So make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all and subscribe to the channel for a banger 2K content. We have a bunch of great videos on the channel that I suggest you to go check out. And without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And y'all already know what we're about to be doing in this video, showing y'all the top five best builds. You see, I'm on next gen, I'm on current gen. No matter what console you're on, what version of 2K you're on, this video is going to help you today because we're going to be showing you how to make all the top five best builds, in my opinion, on both consoles, both gens, all that stuff. Now, if you want to check out some other builds or maybe see if you're interested in other builds to make that are in this video, we have plenty of other builds on the channel and build videos. If you want to go check them out, just click on the channel, scroll through, and you'll see a bunch of them. And if you feel like you have a really underrated build of your own, make sure to comment it down below because the end of the day we just want anybody that's watching this video to get hooked up with a build that they want to play on you know what i'm saying so leave your best build in the comment section okay and if you need any other drill moves jump shots all that good stuff that's also on the channel as well but without further ado let's go ahead and get into these top five builds all right we are officially in the build creator finally now i'm going to be starting each build on this list on next gen and then showing you how to make it on current gen um after we had finished making the build now remember the best Badge count is going to be different on next gen and current gen because current gen you can get like 13, 12 extra badges depending on what you do over there. While next gen becoming a starter is just plus four badges and that's really all you could do on next gen unless you hit level 39 in some seasons. So keep that in mind. Now another thing I want to say before we get into this list is that we're going to be purposely having like different kind of builds in the top five list. We're not just going to have the, the actual top five builds like we're going to have a lockdown. We're going to have a small guard build. We're going to have a center build. We're going to have ISO build. Builds. So before we get into the actual top five list, I'm going to pop up on the screen a lockdown build because a lockdown build didn't actually make the top five list. So this is just kind of like an extra build. I went with a 6-6 six, six lock. It's going to get a ton of defensive badges as you can see on the screen for any of my lockdowns out there. And if you're a lockdown yourself that has a good lockdown build, comment your lockdown build down in the comment section. Uh, this build will get 99 steel and 99 purple defense on both next gen and current gen with an 85 three-pointer for silver limitless with contact dunks and the Michael Jordan dunk package. Now, obviously, none of these builds are going to have ball handle because this is just purposely like an only lockdown, like just playing defense and spotting up type of build. It's also a very fast build. And by the way, perimeter defense is also linked to lateral quickness. So you have a 99 lateral quickness as well. You can get double lock takeover and it's called a three and D wing. And yeah, on the screen, that's how to make it on current gen and next gen max wingspan 6'6". Six, six. It has strength as well. It's a pretty solid build. Now, at number five on this list for the top five builds, we're going to be giving you guys a center build. Now, I usually don't make center build videos, but I used to be a center back in the day, so I do know a lot about centers. Now, with this build, you can make any of these builds any position. It really doesn't matter technically in this build system unless you're on current gen with takeovers, but you can go power forward. You can go center. It really doesn't matter. We're going to go power forward. I'm going to choose jersey number one for all of these builds. You know, shout out D-Rose. Anyways, you're going to want to go 6-9 now. There are other options for center builds, but this is a shooting center build you could go a 611 you could go a seven foot but this these builds aren't necessarily for 5v5 gameplay it's really 3v3 2v2 kind of like a park setting stage setting uh kind of builds so anyways we're gonna go with a 69 shooting center you're gonna want to go 239 pounds because you're gonna want to have strength since this is a center and you're also gonna want to go max wingspan okay now with the body shape you can go builds you can go solid or you can go, you know, one of those two, maybe, maybe compact. I would go built though. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into these stats. Now we're going to start with the physical. So with the physicals, you're going to want to go all the way to a 79 speed. That's max speed, max the acceleration with the strength. You're going to want to put the strength all the way to a 90 better box outs, worm animations, get more rebounds, play better defense, all that good stuff that a center would need to do. 
and then also an 85 vertical. There's a lot. What a lot of people don't know is vertical helps tremendously on rebounds. Like that's a very important stat as a center. And then stamina 95. You don't need to go 99 because when you get gym rats, basically like 99. So that's gonna save us a couple extra badge points. And look at that. Look at the physicals, bro. I mean, everything's basically maxed out. Amazing physicals on this build. Now let's get into the defense, which is the most important part for a center build. Center build. Uh, perimeter defense. We're gonna go to an 86 steel. We're gonna go to a 90. So you can get that gold interceptor. And the perimeter defense is gonna give you that gold challenger and silver clamps. And then with block, we're gonna go 99, giving us Hall of Fame anchor. Hall of Fame pogo stick. Yo, 99 block is crazy. Your interior defense is going to be insane. And then defense rebound, we're going to go 99. So we get that Hall of Fame rebound chaser. And we're going to put the offensive rebound. We're going to keep going until we get uh, an extra badge here. So 75 or actually we can go. Yeah, we'll go 76 offensive rebound for now. Um, but at the end of it, you're going to have like extra attributes. So what I ended up doing was just putting it to a 79 and I left the interior defense at a 79 as well. So you're going to get 30 defensive badges right here. And once again, we're going to be showing you how to make this on current gen as well in a second here. Now at the pass accuracy on next gen, you're going to go to a 75. Uh, so you get that LeBron passing style. This is also going to give you eight playmaking badges, which is enough to get the necessary playmaking badges you need on a build that's not you know gonna be dribbling right and then with the three pointer we're gonna go to an 82 three pointer that's gonna give us 15 shooting badges and then we're gonna put the mid range to a 69 which is gonna give us 16. you can shoot middies with a 40 mid range some people are gonna complain about only a 69 midi but i have a 40 mid range of some of my builds it's literally impossible to miss a midi if you know your jump shot you don't need a high midi in this game there's not a lot of good shooting badges anyway so 16 is definitely way more than enough for a build that's a spot up build and then with the driving, we're going to go with an 84 dunk so you can get at least some kind of contact. And then you're going to want to go with a 65 driving layup to finish off that uh, with the finishing. And back shooting, you're going to want to put it to a 60 free throw to end off the build. That's going to give us 7 finishing badges, 16 driving, 8 playmaking, and 30 defense. This build in game is absolutely insane. The stats go crazy. Yes, the badge count might not be something crazy, but the stats are insane. And this is definitely my favorite shooting center build on NBA 2K23. You have all the defense you need. You have all the shooting you need. You get contact dunks. You're not going to need to dribble the ball on this build. And you have a strength on a shooting build, which is very important. And you're going to dominate all the other center builds while being able to shoot now as you can see i'm going to show up on the screen the current gen version of this build as well as you can see the biggest difference is we do get an extra couple uh points on the finishing so we get an extra couple uh contact dunk animations because we get an 86 dunk you also get an extra finishing badge a couple less play -making because on current gen you don't need a 75 pass accuracy for lebron passing style because there's no passing styles so a 69 pass accuracy will do it just to give you a couple play -making badges and we also get the same amount of defensive badges with a slightly better offensive rebound with the relatively the same amount of stats all around now going back to the next gen screen we're going to go ahead and click continue with the takeovers you can do whatever you want i would recommend you know paint intimidation and maybe see the future now if you want to shoot a little better you can go with limitless range um you can put whatever to the primary but yeah it gets all literally all the takeovers glass rim lock sharp any takeover you would need and we're gonna go ahead and continue and this is gonna give you what i think is the best shooting build uh shooting spot up build shooting center build on nba 2k23 comparisons of jaron jackson jr jason tatum and dave debusher and that's going to give us the two-way stretch glass cleaner and that's the same thing on current gen takeovers i would definitely go rim and sharp with current gen and it's going to give you the exact same build name over there now for any of my centers if you have some other good center builds especially at other heights because i know i know there's definitely some centers are watching that want to be taller than 6'9 make sure to comment those builds in the comment section below so you can help out all my centers that want to be taller than 6'9 but this is going to be number five on the list now with the bad is on the shooting center build now obviously on current gen it's going to be different um with the tiers and all that stuff so i'm going to show that's why i'm going to talk about what the best badges are so if you can get them on current just throw them on and what the best setup would be on next gen now obviously the best badges here are bully and posterizer especially bully if you can get bully throw it on you get posterizer throw it on limitless takeover on silver um or i said limitless takeover limitless takeoff on silver is a must regardless for those quick drops uh silver slithery is also good and bronze drop separate if you can get extra badges on the build definitely put it on finishings uh with next gen if you can get so you can get bully and post riser but otherwise you don't really need anything else here maybe back down punisher nothing crazy now with the shooting bet is on next gen definitely put a couple extra to shooting maybe as well um you can core silver catch a suit maybe put it on gold 
uh definitely want to have bronze levels range whatever you can max that out to gold or gold green machine is definitely the best shooting bet as well make sure to max it out bronze agent threes as well too um and then silver claymore and bronze clutch shooter i think those are the two best tier one that is here for a spot up you can put them to whatever level you'd like to and then with the playmaking, definitely bronze bailout to bail out of some shots. Maybe if you go with a bad shot, bail it out. Bronze needle threader. And then I just threw on silver floor general. Maybe you can put on dimer or special delivery, whatever you prefer. And then with the defensive bat is, I mean, if you want to put extra on defense, you can too, because there's a lot of useful defensive badges, but this is what I think is the best setup. Hall of Fame rebound chaser, Hall of Fame acre, still get that max gold brick wall. Silver interceptor, it can go to gold, but silver is enough. Silver clamps. You can go to bronze gold, or you can go to gold challenger. You can even go bronze chase down, but I felt like there's not a lot of chase down blocks in this game. You're going to have a 99 block and Hall of Fame anchor. That's probably going to be enough anyways. Um, and bronze challenger, it can go to gold, but like there's some good tier one that is. So I definitely didn't want to miss out on box out beast on at least silver. And of course, glove on silver, which is probably one of the best defensive badges in the game. Smaller guard build that could play mainly threes. Um, and maybe you can even play a little bit of twos if you have some good defense. But this build, I'm telling you, is probably the most overpowered offensive build on NBA 2K23. I mean, this is going to be crazy when you guys see the stats on this build. Um, but anyways, you're going to want to go point guard. This is going to be a point guard, smaller type of build, like a Steph Curry, Kyrie, you know, smaller guard type of build. So yeah, point guard. By the way, the handness on any of these builds does, is not going to matter. It's really just personal preference. Now, height. If you if there are some very good 6-1 guard builds for any of my 6-1s, you can comment those builds down in the comment section. But with this build, we're gonna go 6-3. So yeah, you could get away with playing twos with this build, but it's gonna be very good on 5v5 and 3v3 modes, especially. It's gonna dominate on those two modes, I'll tell you that much. Now with the weight, we're gonna want to go with 175 pounds, wingspan 6'9, and I would go with the body shape slight. That's what I would recommend for this build. But anyways, those are gonna be the physicals. Now let's go ahead and get into the stats. This build is crazy. So starting with the finishing, you're gonna want to go to a 50 close shot, to a 75 driving layup and to a 93 driving dunk this is going to give us 16 finishing badges gold limbless gold post riser gold slithery yo this build is crazy with the finishing i mean we're going to get any contact dunk we would want on a 6-3 build going on to the shooting we're going to go to a 92 three-pointer giving us gold agent gold blinders gold dead eye gold limitless with a bunch of other hall of fame shooting badges now this is going to give us 23 shooting badges we're going to go to a 78 mid-range to give us that extra badge with 24 uh shooting now at the end you're going to have some extra room to upgrade some stuff so we're going to throw it on free throw which is going to give us a 69 free throw and by the way for five five modes if you're complaining about the free throw about anything above a 45 free throw especially a 60 free throw Put on the michael jordan free throw and you're gonna make everything in 5v5 okay moving on to the playmaking we're gonna go with a 94 ball handle allowing us to unlock every single drill move we would want that ever releases in the game and hall of fame quick first step now we're also gonna need a 75 speed with ball at least for michael jordan dribble style but 76 is gonna give us an extra badge point and pass area see we're gonna need at least a 75 for lebron uh passing style on next gen and we're gonna actually go to an 80 because that's gonna make our passes even faster and it's going to give us a couple extra badge points with 23 playmaking badges. Now, the defense is not going to be that good on this build, but we are going to get a lot of good defensive badges. Regardless, we're 6'3". We're probably going to be going up against a lot of taller builds, and we're probably going to be guarding the corner on threes anyways, and also the corner on fives as well. And this is mainly an offensive build. We're a guard. We're supposed to be scoring the ball. We're not supposed to be known for our defense. But anyways, a 74 perimeter defense, a 74 steal, so we can get some lanes at least, play a little bit on the perimeter, and also a 58 interior defense, which is going to give us an extra badge point, and a 52 block, which is going to give us another extra badge point. And that gives us 50. 15, you know, 15 defensive badges. That is pretty solid. And we're also going to put the defensive rebound to a 35, which will naturally go up later just because of the vertical. We'll just put it up right now. Now, on to the physicals. We're going to go to a 73 speed, 88 acceleration because this is our guard build, right? Now, with guards, they dribble the ball a lot. 
speed does not affect how fast you dribble the ball this year it is actually acceleration so as long as your acceleration is high that is all that matters and of course what dribbles we have on with our speed with ball and ball handle vertical we're gonna go to an 85 so we can get all the contact dunks we would want with a 93 driving dunk and stamina a 95 so when we have gym rat we can get that 99 stamina and this build is looking ridiculous. I mean, a 93 dunk, 92 three-pointer, 94 four ball handle with an 88 acceleration, 85 vertical with a badge count of 16, 24, 23, 15. This build is insane. Plus it has a 6'9 wingspan for a 6'3. Most of these small guards have short wingspan. We're gonna have interceptor, ma almost max wingspan on this build with literally any possible offensive stat you would want i mean every offensive stat we have in the 90s basically ball handle three-pointer and driving dunk all in the 90s now i'm gonna pop up on the screen the current gen version of this build now as you can see there really isn't a lot of differences the finishing is exactly the same but a plus two close shot with the same amount of uh, driving badges uh the shooting is exactly the same except minus one mid-range um and a little more free throw with one less shooting badge and the playmaking is one less pass accuracy and uh the same of the other stats with two less playmaking badges and the defense is two less defensive badges but it has a little higher steal plus one steal plus five block plus two interior defense and the physicals are exactly the same except a plus two strength and i like i said in the beginning of the video the bad is going to be a little off but on current you can get plus 12 badges through my career stuff that you could do well on next gen it's just plus four and on current gen the takeovers i would you know definitely go with of course sharp shot maybe play if you want but i'll go sharp shot it's gonna give you a three-point shot creator let's go back to the next gen screen we're gonna go ahead and continue the takeovers i mean you have a lot of takeovers here slashing shot creating sharp playmaking i would go with limitless because it's the best takeover right here is really up to you i mean if you're playing pro am i'd probably go with one of the playmaking ones if you want to fade or break ankles one of the shot creator ones but I'm going to go with finishing moves for more contact dunks. And we're going to go ahead and complete the build right there. It's going to give us the same build name it did on current gen. A three-point shot creator with comparisons of Darius Garland, Lonzo Ball, and Kenny Smith. Yo, this build is crazy. If any of y'all make this build, let me know how y'all go crazy with this build. Because I'm already knowing if you want to get clips on 2K offensively, this is probably the best build to do it with. You're going to be one of the fastest builds in the game doing everything dunking wise everything shooting wise everything drilling wise yo this build is very very glitchy i might make this one on current gen to be honest the five best shooting bat is right there if you do have any extra to work with i mean volume shooter would be a good one as well moving on to the playmaking gold handles for this gold clamper killer combos and mismax expert sound good in the description but they're not actually good bad is you don't need them handles for days and clamp breaker especially clamp breaker will be a way more useful with this build of course hall of fame quick first step gold unpluckable and then honestly i didn't really need any other bad is here so i just threw them on dimer you can put it on floor general as well and i even threw on hall of fame ankle breaker and then with the defense it's a bad is you can get bronze interceptor bronze clamps and you're gonna have max wing spend, so you be you're gonna be able to get in those lanes especially with a 74 75 steel silver workhorse to track down some of those long rebounds and then you get some solid badges in tier one gold off ball pest for guard in the corner bronze chase down to unlock chase down animations and bronze box out beast and bronze rebound chaser to secure a couple extra rebounds or just box out the guy in the corner now at number three on the list we are going to start with really the top three builds regardless of position or play style to be honest and we're going to start with these demigod builds now a lot of people prefer different heights so we're going to go through every single height the first being six eight there are a lot of good six eight options out there now obviously with these demigod builds you can really change up to the stats the wings but all that to your liking but i'm just going to show you what i think is the best one now with position i'm I'm already knowing people are going to complain about position in the comments you can actually go any position except maybe center you can go point guard with this you can go shooting guard you can go small forward you can go power forward so whatever you want to play in the 5v5 3v3 2v2 whatever you want to be set up at you can go with whatever i'm just going to go point guard for my career but you can actually go with any of the, these positions it's not going to affect anything except on current gen it could affect your takeover on next gen it won't even affect that though so i'm just going to go point guard it does not matter what position you choose we're going to go with number one 
and we're gonna go with 6'8 because that is number three on this list a 6'8 demigod uh now with the weight right here you want to go 186 pounds and you're going to go a seven foot five wingspan and i'm going to go with the compact body shape now the best thing about the 6'8 is it doesn't have the crazy tiers like the 6'9s do but it gets it can have a lot of good stats and it gets a lot of solid badges on like not the max level maybe hall of fame but on like gold silver you know what i'm saying so we're going to start with the finishing you're going to want to put your driving dunk to an 88 this is going to give us the michael jordan dunk package with basically almost every contact dunk we would possibly want we're gonna go with a 73 layup to give us an extra finishing badge and then a 67 close shot to give us another extra finishing badge and then a 69 standing dunk so we can also get standing dunks when we're in the paint and that's going to give us another extra finishing badge giving us 16 finishing gold limitless silver posterizer silver slithery the finishing is perfect on this we can jump from the free throw line we get quick drops we get michael jordan we get a good enough lamp and we can get standing dunks when we walk into the paint that's a huge w moving on to the shooting we're gonna go with an 85 three-pointer giving us silver agent and silver limitless we're also gonna put the free throw to a 61 because we're gonna get an extra thing at the end it's not gonna matter anyways but 18 shooting is more than enough play making we're gonna go with an 89 ball handle that's gonna give us hall of fame quick first step which is another reason why a lot of people like six eights yes you can go with a 99 post control on six nines and get it but that's a lot of extra attributes to spend on post control on six eights you can get hall of fame quick first step which makes you a lot faster in this game 75 pass accuracy for the lebron uh passing style and 75 speed with ball for michael jordan dribble style and that's going to give us a that's going to give us 20 playmaking baddies now with the defense we're going to go with a 92 perimeter defense giving us gold clamps and gold challenger and hold up fame menace on this build so that's like some lockdown stuff not only that we're gonna have a 95 steel which is enough for gold gloves so once again these six eights they're not getting a hall of fame glove or a hall of fame clamps but they're getting gold which is very good and the stat i mean 92 perimeter 95 steel the great stats now with the block it's going to be a 75 blocks aren't very good in this game anyways but the 75 is going to allow you to get gold chase down artists and at least bronze clamps right we're also going to have a 68 defensive rebound so we can at least get some rebounds you know we don't want to be out here with a 40 defense around just getting nothing and we're going to put the interior defense to a 71 to give us an extra defensive badge that's going to give us 21 defensive badges now with the physicals now on all my builds i like to go with a 70 speed because i feel like speed literally does nothing for you unless um you can't dribble the ball and i can dribble the ball on most of my builds so if you could dribble speed's not gonna make you faster only acceleration quick first step level and your ball handle is right and of course whatever uh, dribble style you have on which is going to be affected by cb with ball the best ones at 75 speed with ball but i know a lot of y'all you know the vc is a lot in this game so y'all don't want to risk it so you're gonna want to max out the speed on this build we're gonna max out the speed but i'm just i'm saying if you want to trust me and go with a 70 speed like most of my builds do you can spend a lot of these extra attributes on the rest of these stats and make them even better but we're gonna go with the 85 speed um strength is gonna be a 46 vertical 75 so we can get those contacts and then of course we're gonna get a 90 stamina and this build is absolutely insane with 16 18 20 21 badge count 95 steel 92 perimeter 89 ball handle 85 3 88 dunk i mean that's crazy this is reminding me a lot of the 6 3 but it's a 6 8 so it can really just do whatever it want at a tall height with basically max wingspan i'm gonna pop up on the screen how to make this build on current gen once again go with any position you want the finishing it looks exactly the same but you get a plus two close shot on current gen and a plus one standing dunk with minus one finishing bad is the shooting also looks very like the same you get a plus one mid-range minus one free throw but a plus one shooting badge and then the playmaking you get a minus one pass accuracy because you're not you don't need a 75 pass accuracy because there's no pass accuracy like passing styles on current gen um and you get minus two playmaking bad is and then with the defense you get minus three uh defensive bad is with a minus three interior defense and these minus three defensive rebound with the same physicals but you get a plus five stamina so yeah it's basically the same once again the bad is of course are not going to be the same because you get plus 12 uh bad is potentially on current gen with only plus four on next gen and that build on current gen is going to come out to be a two-way inside out score and of course we picked sharp and lock takeover that's what i would you know go with anyways let's go back to the next gen screen we're gonna go ahead and click continue you get shot creating sharp playmaking lock takeover 
I you, you can go whatever you want. I would go with Limitless Primary, Extreme Clance Secondary, and we're gonna go ahead and continue. And it's gonna give us that exact same build name it did on current gen, which is the two-way inside-out score, which I think is a pretty solid build name. Your uh shades of Lamelo, Lonzo, Ball, and Tyrese Halliburton. This is a fire build. Oh my gosh, I mean, this is definitely, in my opinion, the best 6-8 build, unless you want to lower the speed and put on some extra stuff. Now, with the badges on this, once again, it's going to be different if you're on next or current with the tiers. Now, I'm just going to, that's why I'm just going to say in every category what the best badges are to put on, obviously. So, if you're on current, just put those on. And on next gen, what the best bad setups are because of the tiers being different. Now, if you could put an extra badge on finishing, it would be nice to get that gold limitless takeoff. But silver is basically the same. So, I would core silver limitless. Post riser would be the next best badge, uh, obviously, for those dunks. Slither would be really nice. If you get slither on current, make sure to get it can't really get it here on next anyways the rest is just there's a lot of good bronze badges here bronze acrobat bronze rise up bronze fearless bronze fast switch very good and i just put on some extra ones with bronze back down and bronze drop stepper but i would say these four uh bronze finishing badges are very good and these three finishing badges right here are the best ones by far now with the shooting silver limitless is a must silver dead eye is also nice as well gold grid machine the second best badge in the game with shooting Asian three silver probably the best one um and third being limitless range in my opinion and then after that i mean you could try to get some extra badges and you know put it somewhere else i don't really think you need it i think this is all you need right here i think dead eye is even an add-on i don't even think you need dead eye here gold amped silver agent gold green machine silver limitless range is more than enough for enough for shooting any extra that or anything extra after that is enough so we went silver dead eye now with the playmaker bad is you definitely want to put some extra on here so you can go ahead and get gold clamp breaker as well i just put on vice grip as an extra because i had nothing else to put it on here i even had hall of fame ankle breaker on which is probably not needed as well i just put it on extra you could put on dimer floor general maybe as well but obviously the three most important bad is here hall of fame quick first step silver handles for days gold unpluckable i would say the next best badge is clamp breaker but we can't get in here on next if you can get it on current get that badge very good badge and then defensive bad setup you can definitely put some extra badges over here as well on next gen i went with gold clamps gold challenger if i wanted to i would definitely if I could, I would definitely put some extra badges on finish or defense so I can get bronze anchor as well. Don't have enough right now because we're testing the build. Bronze chase down for chase down animations. Gold glove, gold interceptor are going to be very useful. And of course, bronze workhorse. There's also a couple other solid defensive badges you could use like menace or pogo stick. But this is the setup we're going with. Now at number two, you if you've watched my build videos before, you've probably seen this build on the channel and that is a six seven six sevens are so glitchy in this game especially if you like there's definitely a lot of options with them but especially if you go with a 99 steel right now i'm going to be showing of course both current and next gen once again position does not matter i know people are going to be talking about this in the comments it might matter on current gen for your takeovers but on next it definitely doesn't matter so just pick whatever position you want to show up on the fives or the threes or the twos whatever you want you can go point guard shooting guard small forward or power forward with this build it does not matter i'm gonna go point guard uh we're gonna go left-handed of course we're gonna go number one we're gonna go ahead and continue and we're gonna start this build with the height and that is of course six foot seven weight 182 pounds this is one of the, another of those demigod builds but it's a six seven height this time and we're gonna go with max wingspan for this build which is seven foot four and compact body shape now this build is known for its crazy isolation offense while also having a 99 steel right so we're gonna start with the finishing the finishing is probably the worst thing about this build but it's still so good you don't get contacts on this build but you get enough driving dunk and vertical to get quick drops off one which is the most unblockable dunk package in the game and the most overpowered dunk package in the game which is really all i need this is why this is my main build by the way this is my main build i use i have like a 93 win percent and this is the build i use to win all my games and i don't really go for contact dunks anyways so this is why i'm so good with this build because i'm only taking a dunk if it's wide open and quick drops is all i need for an open dunk so this is going to be the finishing right here you're going to get 13 finishing batters with a 78 layup 80 driving dunk 68 close shot moving Moving on to the shooting we're gonna get an 85 three-pointer for that silver limitless range that's all we need right there simple as that that's all we need 70 mid-range more than enough with the playmaking we're gonna get a 90 ball handle 
which is another reason why I like this build a lot. You get all the drill moves you could possibly get at a six foot seven height. Yes, 92 ball handle unlocks Curry and Trey Young, but you can't even get those at a 6'7 height. So you're going to get the Damian Lillard animations at a 90, which is very, very good, especially that size of escape. And you're also going to get Hall of Fame quick first step on this build as well. Now we're going to go with a 75 pass accuracy for that LeBron pass style. We're going to up it again. 76 just to get an extra playmaking badges. Uh, and then we're going to go with a 75 a speed with ball, which is all we need for Michael Jordan dribble style. But we're going to go plus two just to get that extra play make it badge now with the defense we're gonna go with an 87 perimeter defense to get silver clamps and gold challenger and we're gonna get a 99 steal probably the most overpowered stat in the game for hall of fame glove and even hall of fame interceptor but most importantly hall of fame and glove and then with the block we're gonna get an 87 block too so this build actually gets a solid block silver anchor gold chase down artist we're also going to put the interior defense to a 68 to get an extra defensive badge and we're also going to get a decent rebound i actually get a good amount of rebounds on this build we're going to get a 68 rebound which is going to give us 23 defensive badges now with the physicals like i say with all these builds you only need a 70 speed um now we're going to put the speed higher on this build just so y'all feel comfortable but once again if you want to go with a 70 speed and put it elsewhere that's all you need because once again the only thing that makes your player faster when you dribble is acceleration quick first step and your dribble move animations okay so yeah you can go with a 70 speed we're gonna put a 78 on this one but you can go lower okay if you can go to a 70 speed and put some extra stats and something else anyways 84 acceleration 60 verticals all we need for the quick drops and then we're gonna have a 95 stamina and that is gonna complete our build with a badge count of 13 18 21 23 80 driving dunk for quick drops 85 three-pointer 90 ball handle 99 steal six foot six wingspan this build is an absolute glitch now i'm gonna pop on the screen the current gen version of this build now the stats are literally identical on finishing and so is the badge count on finishing with the shooting we actually get a plus one shooting badge with a plus two mid-range with the playmaking we are going to get a minus two speed with ball and a minus two play making bad is and then the defense we're gonna get a plus one interior defense and a minus three defense rebound with a minus one defensive bad is and then the physicals are going to be exactly the same but a plus one strength and once again the badge count's going to be a little different because on current gen you can get up to plus 12 extra bad is while next gen you can only get plus four now on current gen i would go sharp lock take 100 percent with this build and this build is going to come out to be a two-way three point shot creator let's go back to the next gen screen let's go ahead and click continue primary takeover i mean you can get shot sharp play lock i go went with uh limitless range as the primary and extreme clans as the secondary and this is going to go ahead and give us that two-way three-point shot creator build name and this is my main build this is my prize possession this is the build i showed y'all before this is the six seven build at number two on the list we're going to show you guys the baddest as well this is probably my personal favorite in the in the game to be honest now with the bad setup once again the baddest are different on current gen and next gen so that's why i'm going to show you guys what the best baddest would be so on current gen, you can just put on whatever you want and what the best bad setup would be on next gen now obviously you're going to need to put some extra baddest on finishing so you can go ahead and get the core silver limitless takeoff and bronze posterizer now you could also put on slithery on current gen as well but these are obviously the three best finishing badges here but other than that i put on fast twitch silver fearless silver acrobat and bronze rise up because those are the next best four finishing badges with the shooting it's simple silver agent threes gold green machine two best shooting badges in the game and then we went with silver limitless range we went with gold amped and those are really all you need we just went with some extra badges because we had some extra ones to go with so silver clutch shooter and silver volume shooter after that i mean that's really all you need you don't need anything else if you wanted to go extra especially if you're on current gen dead eye and blinders maybe i would go with dead eye over blinders then after that if you like to shoot midis midi magician uh other than that i really don't think there's anything to go with maybe space crew if you want to break some ankles off step backs that's about it with the play making bad is um i would definitely put some extra towards this because i just put this to hyperdrive because i had nothing else to put it to you could put it to hall of fame ankle breaker if you want to but the most important bet is here hall of fame quick first step golden punkable silver handles for days and i would put extra badges on here so you can get gold clamp breaker because that's also 
a good badge right there those are the four best plebeian badges right there so as long as you have those four badges then you're good to go that was that's all you need now with the defensive badge setup this can go a lot of different ways we went with coring call of fame glove you can get interceptor get it as well um but we also went with silver clamps and gold challenger because those are very important obviously these four badges are the most important ones for them and we went with silver anchor bronze chase down for some chase down blocks and gold workhorse to chase down those rebounds now if you have any extra badges that may maybe you want to go with something else i would say that you can go with menace otherwise just make these badges go higher or go with interceptor now finally at number one on the list you probably could have guessed it is just this six foot nine demigod now there is a billion different ways to make a six foot nine on this game so i'm just going to show instead of just putting a six nine at old top five on this list i just put it at number one and you can make it all different types of ways and we're going to specifically with this build other than we did with the other builds i'm going to specifically go over each step on how you could do it differently if you want to come out with a different six nine which i didn't do with the other builds but we're going to do with this build because the six nine is just that overpowered this year now we're going to show of course the current and the next gen version now once again the position literally does not matter with this build you can go point guard shooting guard small forward power forward the only thing that's going to matter is if you're on current and it might change your takeovers at the end of it once again it doesn't matter on next gen we're just going to go point guard you could do whatever you want okay this could even be a center build this this build could do everything this could do whatever you want so of course we're going to go six nine the thing that's so overpowered if you're new about 2k23 that's good with the six nines is of course the tiers and of course it being so tall and of course it being able to do whatever the heck it wants at this height and wingspan so we're gonna go 187 pounds six foot nine we're gonna go with seven six wingspan the reason we're gonna go max is because if you go max you don't get silver agent threes with the 83 three ball and that's what we want so we're gonna go seven six wingspan which is more than enough compact body shape do whatever you want with that and now we are on to the stats now actually you know what we're not onto the stats we're gonna go back to this the things you could change about this the biggest thing is going to be of course the wingspan and weight weight is only going to affect like defensive stats acceleration speed and you know speed with ball and that's really it maybe driving dunk. it's not going to affect anything it would mostly affect strength so if you want a higher strength you can mess with that but wingspan if you want like gold limitless on your 69 you can just put this down until you get to a 92 three ball that's really the main thing here with the wingspan it also is also going to affect your steel you see steel goes way down when you put down your wingspan so if you want a 6.9 with a gold limitless you could do that it really just depends on what kind of 6.9 you're going to make but mainly wingspan affects it so just go ahead and look at what bad is you want stats you want and a then you know change the wingspan to your liking but anyways we're going seven six with this one we're going to start with the finishing stats so we're going go with a 76 close shot like i was saying earlier you can really get whatever stats you want a six nine you just have to adjust the six nines to your liking we're gonna go with an 80 layup which is i mean this is already looking insane but a 99 driving dunk makes it even more crazier y'all think people rim run with six nines this is the ultimate rim run build right here 70 standing dunk you're gonna get 19 finishing badges you're gonna be able to get the standing dunks. You're gonna be able to get every dunk you would ever want on a 6-9. The 80 layup and a 60, 76 close shot. Hall of Fame post drives are absolutely insane. If you know how to use the dunk meter, whether you know how to use it or not, if you're gonna make this build, try to learn how to use it because it's gonna be overpowered. Shooting, we're gonna go with the 83 three-pointer, which is gonna give you that silver agent threes. Now, once again, you can go even lower wingspan here and go with an 85 three-pointer to get that silver limitless, but with this one we're gonna go with the 83 we're gonna go with a 69 mid-range to get an extra shooting badge which is gonna give us 17 shooting badges going on to the plebbing we're gonna get that 87 ball handle now these six nines only get gold quick first step the way to get hall of fame i have a i have another six i have six nine build videos on my channel i do have one that has hall of fame quick first step the way to do it is you would have to get 99 post control yes you can max out your post control to a 99 you have to have a certain wingspan as well uh can this one get 99 yeah this one gets 98 so you have to i think it's like the weight or something you can go back and check uh but yeah that's how you would get it is 99 post control it's gonna take away some attributes of course because post control is pretty expensive but that's the way to do that anyways we're not gonna do that with this one we're gonna go with a 75 pass i received for that lebron pass style 75 speed of ball for that uh michael jordan dribble style which is the best dribble style in the game i will say when you're affecting your wingspan if you want to make the six nines to your liking make sure you at least get a 75 speed ball anyways that's gonna give us 20 playing badges moving on to the defense we're gonna get an 86 proto defense for silver clamps we're gonna get an 85 steel for silver glove we're gonna get an 88 block for call of fame chase and gold or silver anchor 
and then that's going to give us a 68 interior and a 40 run rebound we're not going to have rebound on this build of course you can make six nines with good rebound that's it's really your preference this is just what i think is the best version of this 69 if you want to just win right if you want to win this is probably the best version of the 69 you could possibly make but there's other 6 nines that I like to make that are, you know, a little different to my liking. And of course, you might like to make that are a little different to your liking. Comment your 6 9 build in the comment section if you have one. Anyways, 83 speed. Y'all know how I feel about speed. I've been saying it every single build this video. You can turn speed all the way down to a 70. Because the only thing that makes your build faster when you dribble is ball handle, acceleration, and quick first step. But to make y'all more comfortable, because I know a lot of people don't believe that, go with the 83 speed once again you can put it down to a 70 and put extra stats on we're gonna go with the 83 for this build strength 44 vertical 82 for those contacts and then 95 stamina and that is going to be our demigod 69 build with a badge count of 19 17 20 and 16 now i'm gonna pop up on the screen the current gen version of this very identical you get a minus seven close shot same layup, same dunk, minus one standing dunk with minus two fitted shape badges. Then with the shooting, you get a plus two mid range with a plus one shooting badge and a plus four free throw. And with the playmaking, it's literally exactly the same, but minus two playmaking badges. And then with the defense, it's a plus two interior defense and a minus one defensive badge. And the physicals is exactly the same, but a plus three strength. Obviously, the badge count's going to be a little different just because on current gen, you get up to plus 12 extra badges, while next gen is just plus four. Now, with the takeovers on current gen, I would definitely go a sharp lock. You could go slash lock, though. It's really up to you. I mean, if you want to break angles, go with play. If you want to get steals or blocks, go lock. If you want to shoot, get sharp. If you want to get slash, dunk on people with this 99 dunk, get slash. I would definitely put sharp as one of the takeovers so you can shoot consistently on this 6 9. And that's going to go ahead and give you the classic inside out score build name. Let's go back to the next gen screen. We're going to go ahead and click continue. You get every takeover you'd possibly want slashing, sharp, uh, play, lock. Once again, I'm going to go with the best two takeovers of the game. I'm going to go with limitless and extreme clamps. Slashing takeover is definitely a very good option here. I would just prefer these two takeovers because if I have sharp take and a 99 dunk, I mean, what are you going to do at that point? Comparisons of Shy Gilgis, Alexander, Penny, Hardaway, and Lonzo Ball. Inside out score. This is the six nines are the best builds in the game. That's why everybody runs them. Let's look at the badges. Now, here is the bad setup. Once again, the badges are different on current gen and next gen. That's why I'm going to show you guys what the best badges are in each category. So on current gen, you just put on whatever you want. And then on next gen, the best bad setup. Now, of course, the best bad is with finishing. Post riser, limitless takeoff, slithery, and fearless finisher. I mean, this is looking insane. We can core Hall of Fame post riser, get Hall of Fame limitless takeoff, silver fearless finisher, Hall of Fame slithery, bronze master, silver acrobat. I mean, that's literally the best finishing badges in the game. Top three right there, all at Hall of Fame. With a 99 dunk, that is crazy. Shooting badges, course gold, green machine, silver agent threes, best two shooting badges in the game bronze limitless and then of course silver amps from there on out it's literally just extra at that point you don't need anything else so we went with silver dead eye and bronze clutch shooter i mean you can shoot her too but after that you really don't need anything else play making beds once again just so many extra here we still have four to put on that's why i would put extra badges on play making so you can get that clamp breaker but yeah the best bad is on pluckable handles for days clamp breaker quick first step and then after that it's just extra so i threw on hall of fame anchor breaker bronze hyperdrive you don't really need anything else maybe throw on dimer floor general if you want to help your teammates defense you could definitely put some extra here if you want interceptor or menace we went with silver anchor gold uh challenger you get chased down on hall of fame if you want to throw that on you could do that as well silver clamps i put on bronze chase down to at least unlock the chase down animations then of course max that glove out and get silver workhorse to chase down some extra rebounds and that's going to be the best setup i choose with the 69. hopefully today's video helped you guys out with making a new build or if you're new to the game making your first build of nba 2k23 make sure to drop a like on the video if it did help you out and subscribe to the channel we got a bunch of 2k content on the channel funny content competitive content tutorial content informational content we got everything you are looking for on this channel so make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell and also comment down below your best build that wasn't featured in this video just
just in case somebody's looking for another build they can maybe find it in the comment section if it's not in this video or you can look at my other build videos that are on the channel but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace